straight from Hope Ministries, Pastor Ralph here, blessings to you all on another beautiful day given to us from God above. Let us kickstart this Sunday morning with this quick little service, and I hope the service finds you well, as all the services really should. Do you feel discouraged this morning, my friends? Sometimes when we feel challenged, you know, by some problems or another, we may think that we have to give up being joyful and we must be upset. No, but the ability to feel and show joy doesn't come from the favorable circumstances of our human lives. It comes from God, my friends. We can't lose joy and any more than we can uh, lose God. And we are forever in the presence of God. He is all powerful and totally good to us each and every day. See, joy as a spiritual quality lasts forever. We always have it always near us. Having joy includes feeling good, cheer, and vibrant happiness each and every day. But joy in its fuller spiritual meaning of expressing God's goodness uh, involves so much more than that. It is a deep root of inspired happiness. The Holy Bible says this, quote, the joy of the Lord is your strength, unquote. The Bible says God gives us joy and peace each and every day. It tells us that the real joy comes from God and is ours forever. The joy that is found in God's presence, my friend, isn't static. It transforms and regenerates us each and every day. <clears throat> Paul, a follower of Jesus Christ, wrote in a letter that joy is a fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5.22. Spirit is another uh, name for God. Spiritual joy comes from God, gives us a sense of presence of good, showing his initiative, uh, power, uh, and his govern to us as humans. As we learn more about God, we know the wonderful joy that comes with knowing him, the spiritual joy. The spiritual joy will give us all the happiness that we need each and every day. At the heart of joy is an unshakable awareness that we possess good from God. See, joy is a part of God's kingdom. Harmony and painless being are spiritual qualities and expressing joy brings these qualities into view in our lives today and tomorrow. Sometimes, though, it may seem like hard work to feel a spiritual consistent joy in our lives. See, the task that gets easier when you recognize that you have the power to govern how you think. There isn't anything that can really take away your knowledge of God or stop you from feeling spiritual joy. You can let this spiritual sense be yours today. Instead of thoughts of discouragement or despair, let joy fill your heart right now and let it overtake your life from today into tomorrow and beyond. Be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Friends, I want you to hear this. Let me ask you a question. Are you not sure what to do today? Don't know which direction to go or where to even start in your life? In this passage, Paul has given us a tremendous to-do list. In fact, he is emphasizing about our doing it. He uses the words always continually and in all circumstances. Look at what he says we should do starting today. Be joyful always. We think of joy as an emotion, but in fact, my friends, many times joy is an act or the will of an act. The truth is, is if I would have the thought of joy as an emotion yesterday while I was struggling with a project today, I would never have rejoiced in the first place. 
So what did I do, my friends? I listened to the worship music and rejoiced and praised the Lord. We can choose hope and experience the presence of Christ in our life, which will result in joy each and every day. Paul then says, pray continuously. Prayer is more than an occasional ritual in our lives. It is the communication that comes out of a vibrant, authentic relationship with Christ. It is a conversation with the living God that goes on all day. God is with us and we talk to him continuously. So what did I do yesterday? I prayed and yes, declared healing over my body and said, Satan, not today. You are not going to win this battle with me as you have no authority over me and you are defeated, uh, a defeated foe. But I also felt the Holy Spirit say, son, you continue to pray for others to which I was obedient and I did. Finally, Paul writes, give thanks in all circumstances. I meditated a lot on this part of the verse yesterday, and I was reminded by the Holy Spirit, Son, this verse doesn't mean to give thanks for your circumstances, but rather in your circumstances. My friends, no matter what is going on in our lives, we can always find a reason to thank God each and every day. We choose what we focus on. We can either focus on our problems or we can focus on our blessings. Which one will it be? Thanking God daily for all of his benefits in Psalms 103 too, uh, gives us the hope and the faith that we need. It reminds us that his compassion is never ending and his mercy is uh, new each and every day and each and every morning. Friends, we know the blessings God has brought into our lives. We know them, but remembering them each day brings them alive again in our hearts and our souls each and every day. He forgives us always. He has healed us always. He makes his ways known to us always. He uh, comforts us always. He has extended mercy towards us always. He has redeemed our lives always. He is our protector always. He has set us free and he satisfies our souls like no other always. Waking up to face another day, remembering all the blessings and greatness of our God will most certainly cause it to be a brighter day for you tomorrow. So praise the Lord. I feel much better this morning. Uh, still a little weak, but I will continue to be joyful. Always pray continuously, give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation in Isaiah twelve three. Friends, joy is an emotion evoked by satisfaction, appreciation, and pleasure. God was joyful when he created the earth. He was. He appreciated what he made and took pleasure in what he did. And God saw everything that he had made and behold, it was very good. See, the evening and the morning were the sixth day in Genesis one thirty one. The joy you have have is not of this world, but of God. Therefore, it's independent and non-reliant on external circumstances of the human flesh. First Peter 1 Peter 1.8 describes it as joy unspeakable and full of glory. Everywhere Jesus went during his earthly walk, he brought joy to people and he still does that for you and me daily. Having been born again, we've been brought into the life of unending joy. See, the Bible says in Romans fourteen seventeen, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and 
peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. The joy that comes from the inner man transcends physically uh, uh, into circumstances. It's permanent and will keep you strong and alive. The Bible says, a merry heart do doeth good like medicine, but a broken spirit uh, doeth the bones. In Proverbs 17, 22, learn to be joyful and maintain a happy spirit always. Joy is the feature of recreating uh, human spirit in Galatians 5, 22, and it's the nature of the recreated human spirit to be joyful at all times throughout your life. You see, you can generate spiritual joy from your spirit by making uh, melodies and singing new songs of joy from your spirit unto the Lord. The Lord delights to hear your joyful praise daily. Nehemiah eight ten says, For the joy of the Lord is your strength. God needs you to be joyful so that you can transfer that same joy to your environment. You cannot make others joyful, no, unless you are joyful yourself. So start today. Maintain a joyful attitude today and always, and your joyful and happy spirit. Uh, let it dictate everything about your life to other people around you. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. For Isaiah uh, twelve three. So how instructive uh, to be joyful should you be to others? Let your actions speak. They see you joyful, they will be joyful. I always say, lead by example. So if you lead a joyful life, other people will see it. May God always bless each and every one of you. May you all go through life with Jesus Christ in your life. Be joyful today. Let people know the joyful you that's within you. May God bless you.